black holes seem to have a very romanticized reputation in our culture. They're usually portrayed as some cataclysmic evil thing that's usually the cause of suffering and death. But black holes are no more dangerous than your average star. In fact, that's basically what they are, a small, dark, dense star in the last phase of its life. And they don't just gobble up anything that comes near them, their gravity well works the same as any other star, meaning passing spacecrafts have a long time to detect and avoid them before they get too close to escape. <laughs> Take this system for example. Three planets orbiting what appears to be nothing, but the closer you get, the more you see space start to distort until you realize you're looking at a black hole. The planets around it are orbiting just like they would a normal star, and are in no danger of falling into the black hole. And the distortion you're seeing is actually light bending from the black hole's immense gravity, but this is not a property unique to black holes. You get the same effect happening near neutron stars. The gravity created by a neutron star is also strong enough to bend space. But these stars don't just sit quietly, they rotate at insane speeds. For some contrast, this is the sun rotating in real time, and this is the sun rotating at 10,000 times normal speed. This is neutron star PSR 1719-14, and we're seeing this rotation at about 1 300th normal speed. In reality, this is what real time looks like. In addition to their absurd speed, neutron stars are also capable of colliding and firing out gamma ray bursts which are the most energetic explosions in the known universe. Within a few seconds, gamma ray bursts emit as much energy as the sun's 10 billion year lifespan, but instead of doing it in a sphere, it's fired out like a laser in two directions, obliterating the atmospheres of any planet that gets in its way, cutting a swath of destruction through the galaxy. Compared to neutron stars, a black hole's quiet disposition is really quite peaceful, despite its reputation. Their destructiveness doesn't stem from some alien concept, it comes from intense gravity, a lot of mass in a small space. So when particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider create tiny, artificial black holes, there's nothing to worry about. The readiest source of mass for scientists is the Earth itself, which you would need to compress to under one centimeter in order to create a black hole. You may also owe your existence to black holes. Right now, the most accepted theory for explaining the composition of galaxies is the presence of supermassive black holes at their center, which act as the gravitational glue that holds the galaxy together. Black holes aren't inherently deadly. It's true that they can suck up entire solar systems, but any massive object can do that, and it takes a long time for that to happen. They don't just wander around galaxies looking for worlds to destroy, and they only come about when a very massive existing star collapses. Like yin and yang, stars and black holes are just two sides of the same coin. One light, one dark, but both necessary for the existence of our entire galaxy.